digging in my old files, digging in the crate, bringing out some new videos that has not been exposed to the rest of the world, stuff I was doing locally. All right, let's check it out. <laughs> You already learned the grip. I hope you've been practicing, or I've shown it to you. I hope you've been practicing. And uh, what we're going to learn today is another important aspect of shooting and making sure that you are um, performing properly when executing, uh, when executing the, the, the shooting. So, when executing your shooting. So, um, um, without further ado, let's go ahead and make sure that uh, we have a clear and safe weapon. So, looking down the uh, magazine well, we have nothing. Looking in that chamber, nothing there, and we have a clear and safe weapon ready to go. So, um, what we're going to learn, or what I'm going to demonstrate to you is uh, shooting stances. Now, there are several different types of shooting stances, and they all are important in different aspects of shooting. But the two that are the most popular and trained are the isosceles and the weaver. Now, I'm going to demonstrate the isosceles and the weaver, and I'm going to tell you what's significant and important about both of those. The first thing that you're going to, I'm going to go ahead and go over with you is the isosceles. The isosceles, if you had geometry like middle school math or higher, yes, it's a triangle. And that's basically how it's a, descri a description of your body when you square it off with the, uh, with the target. So, um, you want to make sure that your, that your body is squared off with the target. Feet are shorter widths apart. Toes pointed down range. And when you unholster the weapon and you draw, you want to draw straight out, almost like you're punching towards the target, almost like you're trying to put the business in, the, the muzzle of the firearm straight out to the target, all right? And you want to be knees slightly bent, kind of hunched over forward just a little bit, hunched over forward just slightly, all right? And that's the, uh, that's the isosceles. The benefit of the isosceles is um, it's natural because if you're ever confronted with any type of danger or, or you're scared of something, People nine times out of ten to go stop or, you know, they put their hands up like this and just being squared off with a target is usually, you know, being squared off with something of, of, like a threat or danger is usually how people naturally respond. And then maybe after that, they do the they do the fight or they flight. So um, isosceles, that's that stance right there. And that is the significance of it. another important thing that's good with the isosceles is that it gives you the advantage to be able to engage with multiple targets. And still keeping a solid base, you can move side to side, scanning an area, and be able and still and still have a strong base to shoot from. So um, that's the isosceles. The next one is the weaver. The weaver is slightly different, but the weaver is good for um, is good for uh, quick shooting, and also it is it, it's, it's good for uh, quick sight alignment. To get you on target so you have the uh, what you do is you put your uh, support leg forward and you have your strong leg in the rear support hand forward strong hand in the rear towards the weapon you draw out come up towards the eye and a lot of people keep the weapon back I like to bring mine slightly forward like such and that's how you engage right there with the weaver weaver looks like this from the side Okay, so that's the weaver. Um, the weaver, like I said, is good for quick sight alignment. Because usually with the uh, with the um, isosceles, you know the sight alignment isn't set because you got to get all the way in position. With the weaver, like I said, a lot of people shoot from from back here. Some some bring it out slightly. Um, it's good for quick sight alignment and um, quick shooting. So. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, don't hesitate to leave them in the bottom. Try to practice that a little bit and uh, make sure that you train often, train safely, and train properly. All right? Peace. What up? Bringing up some videos that I got in the crate. Now you're going to see that even though the appearance may have changed because I got a little older, the training and the information still remains the same. Train hard, train often, train properly, and train safely. Peace.